last <coughs> possession of the first half to me, I thought was the pull-up. When you get a yard down fourth and one, you're either going to score or at least you're going to kill off the clock. How big do you think it was? Oh, it's always big. I mean, coach talks about critical situations, third down, and then fourth down's an even imperative. It's like a turnover. You know, we need to convert that. And, you know, hats off to the other opponent. They made the play when they needed to. Questions for the players? Ken? Larry, uh, why was it so tough to get an outside running game or just to build momentum uh, during the game uh, with, your, with your running? Uh, you got to credit the other team. You know, they, they played a very friendly and sound game. They played the technique proper, and they did the things that it took to stop, stop the, uh, shut that down. And so, you know, you usually got to tip it off to the other opponent. You know, we fought hard. We played, you know, with everything we had. Played, uh, I feel like we played well. We'll see the film, obviously. But uh, hats off to the other team. They, they did right. And you, you got to just give them credit where credit's due. For both, for, for both seniors, Joe and Phil and Larry, um, you, you leave not having beaten Navy uh, in an Army-Navy game. But how do you feel about what you're leaving behind as far as Coach Moncton and where this, this, this program is going? Well, I think, uh, you know, of course, it'll be our one huge regret from our, our time here, you know, not beating our arch rivals. Um, they're a fantastic program. They certainly did what they had to do today to, you know, make the plays in the critical situations to get it done. Um, when it comes to this program going forward, though, we know we're leaving it in very, very capable hands. Uh, the staff has done a fantastic job this past year, truly getting Army football back to relevancy and back to you know, competitive greatness. And that's the only thing that you know, could be possibly be in our future. Um, look at the, the juniors, the sophomores, and then the freshmen who are going to be upperclassmen next year. Um, we're, leave, we're leaving behind some tremendous leaders and tremendous playmakers, and they're only going to get better you know, as their time here goes, up, you know, goes ahead. And I'm excited to see what Army football does in the future. And just uh... Go on top of that. I think the biggest change is kind of, you kind of experienced it tonight. You know, they talk about being a senior, playing your last game, but uh, they don't ever prepare you for how last time leaving the locker room. And my, my freshman, sophomore, junior year, it was, it was easier to leave the locker room because we weren't as close as a team. But that's, that's the hardest thing I've ever had to do is just part ways with my teammates out there. And so at the very least, what Coach Munkin has done, and I'm thankful for him, is he created a family. I truly feel like these guys, my family, Joe's my older, younger brother, and these guys are my younger brothers. Like, I really feel like we're tighter than we've ever been. And, you know, I just, at the very least, I have to say thank you for that because uh, that's big. Dave Ginsburg says Jake Press. Larry, uh, playing off that, uh, which loss was more difficult to take last year or at least this year where you made it as close as you possibly could but just came up a step short? Oh, it's hard to say which ones are harder to take. Is it, they're different kind of losses. They're different teams. Uh, Coming to this game, we understand that we could only control 2014 on the football team. So this loss is, it's like comparing apples to oranges, sir. But uh, this one was hard. Um, I feel like I let my team down, let the players around me down. So it's hard to go, it's going to be hard to go through that and just, you know, think about that. Go ahead, Ron. Josh, on the, on the block punt, you just you saw an opening or what? Uh, we just had a play called up to 10-man to uh, block. And we just went in there. I was put in a great position. I just uh, did my job and uh, watched everybody else make the play after. Go ahead, Tom. Jeremy, can you talk about the defense in the first quarter and even into the second quarter, how you were able to limit what they were able to do and put your offense in the shoot? Yeah, we knew we, uh, we haven't uh, really played to our ability this season. And we knew it's, we had to give the offense a chance by getting three and outs and uh, stopping them on third down. So I think everybody came out. I think the seniors understood it was their last game. I think everybody played with passion. We, I mean, we had three weeks to get ready for this game for, so we were dialed in, and uh, we we played very well in the first half. Joe, do you feel like you guys have narrowed the gap with Navy and was today representative of that? I mean, I, I think a loss is a loss. You know, it's uh, regardless of the final score com coming up short, it still has the same bitterness to it. Uh, like I said earlier, the, the excitement, though, going forward is the, the state of this program and uh, the potential this program has with the coaching staff and the players that are coming back next year and the years following. Um, we have the opportunity in a, every week, every Saturday, to go out and um, not only be competitive, but to uh, play to our ability level, accomplish our assignments, and ultimately uh, win a lot of games. And that's something going forward that I'm very excited to see and looking forward to seeing how Army football competes in the future. Go ahead, Jeremy, uh, 
uh, maybe had their longest running play was 19 yards. And, uh, you, were, you were stopping their big plays. You had trouble stopping the way they were, uh, kind of were grinding it out. What were the challenges Keenan Reynolds was throwing at you? I mean, he's a, he's a very good quarterback, very good running back, uh, very talented, just agile guy. So we knew we were up against a, just a bit, very big threat on offense. And uh, if we fit up gaps, we, we were going to stop them. And I mean, we did that for the most part. They kind of pounded us out in the uh, second half a little with their fullback. But I think for the most part, we uh, gapped out and were very fundamentally sound. You with the players, guys? Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. One more. Yeah, one more. One more. Oh, I'm sorry. One more. Yeah. 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 Larry, I was just going to ask, guys, watching you uh, lead the team out on the, the second half, what were you saying to the team at halftime and when you took them out? Oh. Uh, I really don't remember. It's a lot of emotion that raised over me, but the gist is uh, that I love the team. I love this. I love being an Army football player, and I'm really sad to see it go. I was just telling we got one more half together. It's just really walking out there that I realized the finality in the situation, and I just wanted them to know I love them. I'm going to do everything I can. I wanted them to do everything they could for the brothers next to them. So that's all I'll say. Go ahead, sir. Can I get one more? Sure, um, sure. You guys have been through a few of these, right. but with all the military pop and circumstance that goes on, is it, do you get caught up in all of that emotion, or is it just another football guy? I know it's not just another football game, it's Army Navy, but how about all the military stuff that's going on around you? You know that's your next mission. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, first, it's a tremendous honor to play in this game. Um, being the greatest football rivalry game, uh, possibly greatest rivalry in all of sports. And that comes from the fact that we are, when we graduate, serving a, uh, a bigger organization in the United States military together, you know, both sides. And then we represent the Army and Navy as a whole. However, when it comes down to it, there's 11 on 11, there's a field, there's a scoreboard, two goal posts, two end zones. And uh, when it comes down to it, it is a football game. And it comes down to execution of assignments, fundamentals, and making plays. And unfortunately, we just weren't able to make those plays in the critical situations. And Navy did. And hats off to them. All right, one more. Sure. Joe, could you just explain sure. the significance of the patch you have in your jersey? Um, yeah, so I guess uh, this is something that you know, goes back a, a long time. Um, Army football program every year. Uh, a Black Lion Award is uh, you know awarded to a, t a player, typically as a senior. Um, I didn't know that I was going to be wearing this patch until um, I showed up yesterday to our walkthrough and I saw on my nameplate, um, I was a Black Line Award winner and I saw the patch and um, it was a tremendous honor and um, something that you know I'll look back on the rest of my days and hope to keep that mindset going forward in my Army career. Thanks, guys. This time, it's my pleasure to introduce the coach of the Black Knights, Jeff Munkin. And we're certainly disappointed. Uh, that we lost the game. I thought our guys fought tremendously hard. I'm really proud of their effort. Um, we just didn't make enough plays to, to win the football game. And, and credit to Navy, they've got a, a really good football team and, and uh, such a well-coached football team. And, uh, and they, they made the plays when they needed to to win the football game. And that's the bottom line in any game. Um, but uh, it's certainly disappointing to uh, to have played as hard as we did and, and just uh, not be able to see our guys be rewarded with a victory, particularly our seniors. I'm, I'm most disappointed for them to, uh, to not uh, have uh, had a chance to experience a victory in this great rivalry, and it is a great game. And uh, just a tremendous crowd and, and uh, really special to be a part of it. It's just an honor and a privilege for me to be a part of this rivalry again and, and to, to represent West Point, which I think is one of the finest academic institutions in the world and, uh, and the best leadership laboratory on the face of the earth, and uh, to hold a leadership position and to be able to lead these men who are going to lead other men and women. Uh, what a responsibility and, and what a privilege for me. And, and uh, so proud of them, just the way they fought. Uh, I told our team they got nothing to be ashamed of. And uh, it's, uh, it, it, it stings and it's going to hurt for a long time. And uh, it'll pain us until we have an opportunity to, to play again and to try to do something about it next year. Uh, but uh, these guys fought really hard. And uh, the four guys sitting up here in front of you today, four great kids, uh, all four going to be great soldiers, and uh, all four really good players. Let's open it up for questions. Please state your name and organization before you ask your question to Coach. Go ahead, Pete. Uh, Peter Schmuck, Baltimore Sun. Coach, uh, 
Just uh, uh, looking forward, I know it's tough to have send the seniors off without having a chance to be able to be, to be Navy at least once. Um, the foundation you've laid this year in your first year, how do you feel going forward about the program and where it's headed? I'm excited about the future of this program. And uh, I didn't, uh, I wasn't delusional in thinking that everything was going to change at the snap of a finger or when I walked in the room and said, hey, here, here, here's the changes we're going to make. Those things take time. And it takes more than just a season. It takes uh, building a program uh, from the bottom up and, 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 and getting the philosophy and the culture um, where I feel it needs to be to be a championship football program. I think we're, I think we're well on our way, but, uh, but we haven't gotten there yet. And, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely confident that we will. Go ahead, Ron. Coach, not every game has a definitive turning point, but I believe I would figure this one was with the fourth and one that you missed near the end of the second quarter, and then coming right back down. What do you think? Yeah, it's the second time this year we've got fourth and that far to go and don't make it, and uh, it's disappointing. But you got to be able to move the ball that far, and and we didn't, and we we stalled out more than more than that time, and we get the ball pushed down into their territory, and we just we couldn't get a first down, and uh, and that's frustrating. But uh, you know, we we had to we had to make a play there, and we didn't. They did, and and then they hit a big play, and uh, you know that's that's one of the things I talk to our team about all the time is you got to execute on third down. It didn't have to be a fourth and short. We could execute it on third down and made the third down and kept the drive alive. We didn't, and then I talk about big plays, and we gave up a big play right there on that pass play over the middle. And, uh, and then we gave up a big play to start the second half on the kickoff. They returned it back out to the 50. We didn't do a very good job leveraging the ball. And uh, big plays make a difference. And both of those were, were costly to us. They both uh, resulted in points, uh, one for seven points and one for a, for a field goal. Uh, we talked about a lot of different plays, um, but you know it's man on man, and you got to block them. There aren't there aren't any plays that we have that you don't have to block anybody. I wish we had some of those. If anybody's got any of those, I'll take them. But you got to block somebody. So if you got to move the ball that far, the length of that paper, well, it's you against the guy across from you. Knock him out of there. We didn't do it. Credit to them. They knocked us back, and and uh, they didn't uh, didn't feel like we had crossed the 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 line to gain, and and it was their ball. Go ahead, Ken. Coach, why was it hard in the first half to get the offense on track so that you could take advantage of the momentum you had after the block punt? I think it was for the same reason that it was difficult for them to get going on offense. We both know each other's offense is pretty good, and. We've had three weeks to prepare. They've had two weeks to prepare. Uh, we practice against ourselves, and I'm sure they do too. And they have a great plan. You know, they've been running that defense now for 12 straight years, and Buddy does an awesome job. He's a heck of a coach. And uh, and the bottom line is, is just you got to sustain blocks. And uh, and there were times that we did that, moved the ball, and other times we didn't. And uh, you know, it's it's frustrating to have to plow and 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 go in three and four yards and when you get a no gain play which we had some where we didn't gain any yards and it was second and ten um, in a game like that it's tough so uh, we continued to to do some different things and get in some different formations and find some areas where we felt like we had an advantage and I thought throughout the game we found spots where where we could run the fullback and have some success we got the ball uh, on a perimeter a couple of times. Uh, the quarterback carried the ball in the midline a couple of times. And, but uh, you know, it, it's, it's difficult in a game where two teams are so similar. And I feel like you know, closely matched in terms of our guys, their guys. Um, and and, and they, know, they know the actions and angles of our offense because they see it all the time. So... Uh, we knew it was going to be a slugfest 
from start to finish. We prepared for that. And unfortunately, we just didn't make enough first downs to keep the ball moving and get it, get us in position to score. So. Do you consider taking them late into the fourth quarter progress for the program? No, I, I don't know. I, I, we want to win the game. And you know, there's, there's no – I didn't have the feeling we wanted to play good and we'd feel all right if we played good. And you know, we're getting a lot closer. But there was only one goal, and that was to win. And I thought we were going to. And uh, I'm disappointed that we didn't. <laughs> and uh, we've got a lot of work to do between now and next year if we're going to have a chance to beat them next year. He's been the guy all year. And uh, we've, we've, we work on it every week, uh, a couple times a week to prepare for that as we do the hands team. And, uh, and you, you come out to practice, you know I'm very involved in the special teams and I try to cover as much as I can to make sure there's no situations that come up like that that we're not prepared for. I thought he made a great kick and gave us a chance. And uh, we were a little bit late getting to the first guy from the sideline who, who recovered the ball. Um, but I thought he did a heck of a job to give us a chance to, to get the ball back. Go ahead, Ron. Coach, what was the uh, rationale for bringing in AJ in the third quarter? Santiago was hurt. What was it? Was it injured? He was injured. He couldn't play. Oh, okay. What was the injury? Hurt his foot. Was there a question? Was there a particular play where he hurt it? Uh, no, it was just toward the end of the first half. I don't know the exact play. Um, as we were going in at halftime, I was informed that, that he was injured and that the medical staff was going to be looking at him. Um, they gave him some treatment and, and tried to you know, adjust a tape job. And, and uh, it, just, it, it, wasn't, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't working for him. So we put A.J. in, and uh, I thought A.J. did a really good job. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, Bob Hoke, uh, Capital Newspaper. Coach, looks like you had a nice um, you know, moment with Coach Nimatololo after the game. Are you able to share... You know, what, what was said between you two? Or? Oh, Kenny's my dear friend. And, uh, you know, Kenny and I share a, a, a bond, a friendship that's lasted 25 years. And it goes beyond just uh, a colleague working together. I mean, there's a, I mean there's, a, there's, a, there's a sense of brotherhood between he and I. And uh, we were young assistant coaches together and worked for six years under Coach Johnson. And, and uh, I love Kenny. And... Uh, I just, uh, I'm so proud of him and the job he's doing. And, and uh, I know the feelings are mutual. I know that's a, uh, that's, those feelings are shared by him as well. So it's special to have that relationship with he and, and so many of those coaches on that staff over there. I mean, all those guys, that, you know, Ivan and Buddy and Keith Jones and Danny O'Rourke and Chris Colton and Mike Brass and uh, Dale Pearson. I mean, those are, those are just dear friends of mine so you know it's 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 tough to lose a rivalry game and uh you know the the backyard brother too you you want to go out and beat your brother in the backyard and uh and that's a little bit of what this rivalry is like like between kenny and i and the questions for coach go ahead ken coach keenan rolls had 100 yards rushing uh but the longest was 19 yards did you feel the defense did a, a good job of detaining him as I thought the defense did a great job, and uh, you know we got uh, we got a lot of stops, uh, not enough down the stretch, and uh, we allowed them to convert some third downs, and as I mentioned, hit the big play right before halftime, and, uh, and we we let them uh, in the in the second half get the ball in the 50 yard line. Didn't mean they needed to score. We didn't do a great job there of of uh, keeping them off the board. They got three points, but I thought our defense really played hard. We missed some tackles, and, uh, and that's always disappointing to see when you've got a guy stopped. And you know, we, had, we had one where we had the option played pretty well, and we pitched the ball out there, and, and uh, we had him tackle for a three-yard loss, and we whiffed and, uh, and let the guy cut back inside of us. And it was uh, second and six, and they converted the, the third down play. So you got to make those plays. and. And, uh, and that's the bottom line. It's just, it's, it really comes down to fundamentals. You got to block and sustain blocks. If you're on defense, you got to get off blocks. You got to tackle the guy and get him to the ground. 
and you got to make some people miss or break tackles on offense and take care of the ball. And uh, that's, that's, it's very fundamental, but that's, that's what it comes down to. And if you look at the game, that's probably what it came down to. Okay, Coach. Thanks for joining us, everybody.